All right, I recently did a video on Timothy Dixon exposing his fraudulent and false prophecy of fish falling from the sky. I will link that at the end of this video. But we're looking at Timothy Dixon again today, and we're going to be examining his alleged prophecy of him saying that God told him the Mississippi River was going to run backwards. Now, I'm going to play you some clips from uh, this particular video. This is Steve Schultz from Elijah Clips. There is audio glitching in this. It's not on my end. It's on their end. Uh, but let's examine his words today and see if indeed this man did prophesy the Mississippi running backwards. And the Lord had gave us uh, a couple of tremendous signs. Uh, one was here back in uh, July, I believe it was. I was on an Indian reservation in the Lord. So he said it's back in July when he made the prophecy. He was on an Indian reservation. Lord spoke real plain on the platform that as a sign that I'm going to move and that my hands on Donald Trump and I'm going to do for America, like I said, said there'll be a storm to come up the middle is how I worded it. And the middle would be through the Gulf of Mexico. And it would come up through the Gulf and it would make the Mississippi River run backwards. Okay. And so this is what he's telling Elijah clips and this uh, video was put out on January 12th 2022 now here's a video from Timothy himself you can see this is on his channel this was published October 9th 2021 and you can see right in the title he says the Mississippi runs backwards this video by the way is him touting himself and uh, this is what he says July the 28th of 2021 in the first meeting in Philadelphia, Mississippi. Now here, he gives you the date. This is when he says he prophesied this. He said it was in Philadelphia, Mississippi. In the last video, you heard him say it was on the Indian Reservation. Just remember this. Under the tent, it prophesied a storm would come up in the Gulf and would be so powerful it would cause the Mississippi River to run backwards. It... All right, so remember this as we go forward. Now, we want to verify, did the Mississippi flow backwards? Let's verify. Did Ida reverse the flow of part of the Mississippi River? These are our sources. Normally, the Mississippi flows south, and the USGS tracks how much water is flowing through. Sunday morning, it recorded a negative flow for about four hours, meaning the storm surge pushed the water to flow north near New Orleans. It doesn't last long, but it's enough that those winds are so persistent that they push that water farther inland and you can t detect that change in flow. So, it's true. The flow of part of the Mississippi River did briefly reverse. With your fast fact, I'm Brandon. All right, so yeah, the Mississippi actually did uh, flow backwards, so that part is true. The question is, did Timothy Dixon prophesy this? Now, just because we're being thorough in this, we want to uh, make sure that you know when did Hurricane Ida hit. And it was right around the end of August, starting on the 26th, I believe it made landfall. So we've got that established. This certainly would be plenty of time for that prophecy to come true. Remember, Timothy Dixon said that he prophesied this on July 28th of 2021. Now we're over at Timothy Dixon's YouTube channel. I'm going to look at the videos here. I'm doing this in real time so you can see that I'm not manipulating anything. We're going to go down. We're going to look for that July 28th tent meeting. And uh, I'm doing this again so you can see that I'm not being funny. Ah, here we go. So now here, this one's dated July 29th, 2021. The Choctaw, that's an Indian reservation, here it is, Philadelphia, Mississippi. Now, in this particular video, which is only two minutes long, two minutes and 30 seconds, uh, he's giving directions because this night he's going to do meeting number two. Meeting number two is right here. I watched this whole video. There's no prophecy on the Mississippi flowing backwards. You can see the date, 729. We're looking for the one that's dated 728 because that's when he said he made prophecy is it this one let's click on that two I'll pause that I'm gonna slide this over so you can see 
This one was done on July 26th. Huh. We're missing the prophecy video. So let's click back. We're going to come up here. So you go from July 26th to July 29th. There is no video showing where he prophesied the Mississippi running backwards. Do you think there's a reason why that video is not there? Because it probably doesn't exist, right? Well, let's keep researching. Now, I found something here. And uh, I want to warn you, I'm going I'm to play this clip. When I first watched this clip, I was extremely disturbed. And I want you to pay attention to this man, his mannerisms, his facial expressions, his all-around demeanor. This is a man who, uh, I believe maybe at this point he hasn't slept or something is influencing him. And I fear that it's uh, demons. I, I really do. I don't say that to be dramatic. I really believe this man is being tormented by demons in his efforts to be a prophet. Um, I'll play this and, and pay attention. And this is the beginning troubles. The Lord told me, he said, I'm going to trouble the waters. I'm going to trouble the waters. The Lord told me, and you watch, that the Columbian River Gorge is going to run backwards. It's going to run backwards. They're going to have power power problems because of the, the power and the, the river running backwards. And it's going to be blackouts out west through Oregon. There's a, a little fall that runs right down as you're going into Portland. Uh, Mont, Mont Lamar, Mont Lamar, I'm not pronouncing that right. Mont Lamar Falls. It's going, Lord told me, said it'll run red like blood. So he said the Lord told him it's going to run red like blood. Now, he probably noticed he didn't say the Mississippi. This was the Columbia River Gorge that he said would run backwards. He published this on March 2nd of 2021. Now, getting back to his demeanor, uh, again, this is a man that's tormented. I don't even think at this point he understands the lies that he's putting forth. He's just babbling whatever comes to his mind. And I think in a roundabout way, he equates this prophecy to the Mississippi. But it's not. He did prophesy that a body of water would run backwards. And by the way, if, if any of you know if the Columbia River Gorge ran backwards and that that waterfall there ran red with blood, oh, please, please give me the information. Um, you'll certainly get credit for that prophecy fulfilled, but it, it, I, I haven't seen anything about the Columbia River uh, Gorge running backwards. Uh nor so far have I seen anything which shows he prophesied that the Mississippi would run backwards. But at this point, I'd certainly say, please pray for Timothy Dixon. This man is absolutely oppressed. And you can see it, I think, manifesting through in, in videos like this, where he, he does, I don't think he knows where he is right now. And, and again, I'm, it's very concerning. Now, we're over at Google because, well, maybe because it's not on, or just because it's not on YouTube doesn't mean that you can't find it somewhere else. We want to see the proof that Timothy Dixon indeed did prophesy um, that the Mississippi would run backwards. So we're at Google and we're doing a search on it. And now I'm going to show you why false prophets do so much damage. Is you can click on some of these results. Uh, here's... Uh, Here's a website called The Truth Lion. Now, what they have is a headline here is Timothy Dixon Prophecy Update. The Mississippi runs backwards. So now what you've got is another party who is reporting this as though this actually happened. Now, what video do they 
uh, put front and center to show that at least that this appears to be true. When I press play, River to run backwards. And here it is. They're saying that this is proof that this prophecy was fulfilled, right? They're playing this video. Do you know what video this is, right? Here it is. Back over on YouTube. This is the video. Here's his channel. And look when it was published. Well after the event happened. Come back over to the Truth Lion and here you go. You've got, whether willing or unwilling, you've got other medias that are reporting this as though it were true. And you see, this is this is supposed to be some kind of a, a media outlet. Did they even do any research? Did they verify it? No, because they're probably in the same mindset of delusion that the prophet, the alleged prophet, and all that his followers are. They don't bother to even fact check whether they have the evidence. They just grab a video off Timothy Dixon's channel and say, oh, it must be true and let us publish it as truth. It's unbelievable. Now, as you come back over to Google, you can roll through some of the results. A lot of it has, obviously, to do with uh, Timothy Dixon, uh, some other Timothy Dixons, but uh, you can absolutely see how other forums take this and uh, publish it as truth. It's very disturbing. Now as Timothy goes into acting mode, lights, camera, action, and you can see how holy he is because he filmed himself. Um, that's where we're going to leave it right now. I didn't find any evidence. Video, audio, documentation, Nothing that uh, can be proven that he prophesied the Mississippi would flow backwards. Nothing. But I will say this. If anybody can produce the video where he did prophesy this, I'll take this video down. But until that, uh, it's just another evidence that this man is a false prophet. Uh, again, if he did prophesy that, that'd be pretty amazing. And you'd think you would have been able to find that in his library, but he did everything else except that. This is the equivalent of somebody saying, I prophesied ABC, but you're just going to have to take my word for it. There's no evidence. But I will leave it open. If you can show me the link uh, or give me the link, I'll be glad to take a look at it. But until then, it's just more evidence that this guy is an absolute fraud, no fear of the living God, and continues his mission to utterly shipwreck the faith of millions.